other workers carry larvae from the closest nest to the construction site. After those food, bro. Usually, ant larvae spin themselves so like a cocoon baby. to protect themselves. Which they might eat. But the weaver ant larvae give all of they their might silk jizz. to the on the leaf. They release their sticky thread like tiny, cute glue guns. Well, like this tiny peanut. Give it a thousand subscribers. I was gonna make like a you know like a little video. I'll make it late after this, but some video uploaded and I want you to check it out. Alright, I'm sorry. I'll make the don't I'll make it. We're gonna react to this video. I just uh, I saw this guy on my recommended, so I was like, oh he looks cool. I don't know how to say his name though. Kurgzig I haven't seen this video in my life or any of his videos. But I'm pretty sure they're informative. So, you know, me being a dumbass, uh Let's get informed. Deep in tropical jungles lie floating kingdoms ruled by beautiful and deadly masters. I froze it for two reasons. First of all, his voice is like very soothing. I'm not gonna lie, like I, I kind of, my pants are kind of wet right now. I don't know what, if that's water or something else, but we, let's carry on. They're sort of the high elves of the ant kingdoms. Okay. Talented architects that create castles and city-states. Ooh. But they are also fierce and expansionist warriors, and their kingdoms are ensnared in a never-ending war for survival. Oikofla Weaver Ants. Ew, bro. If I see that, it's dying on, on sight. It's a good little intro. Mm. Oikofla Weavers walk on long legs, have slender bodies and large eyes, which make them look pretty cute. Although their strong mandibles and the ability to shoot Jeez. acid also make them pretty good at killing. But more on that later. Good at killing? Their colonies usually I'm gonna have, to have throw two some hands. to three I'm not gonna lie. classes that vary dramatically in size. Majors, minors, and sometimes even tiny minim workers. Damn, that's tiny, Depending bro. on location and species, they vary in color from dark brown to emerald green. Other than their fancy looks, <laughs> What makes weavers special is that they're in the kingdom building business. They like to build at pretty much all heights, starting in shrubs a few centimeters above the ground and up to 10 meters in the tree canopy. I need the architects, bro. But they're not satisfied with ruling just one plant. Weavers will look for twigs or lianas that bridge the gap to other trees and expand to every plant I need the territorial, you know, they take everything. This way, colonies spread upwards and sideways through the treetops. The largest yeah, weaver ant so kingdoms creepy. we know yeah, of like... occupy up to 1,600 square meters, Jesus. around four basketball courts. Four basketball courts. That's like four basketball courts. Four four basketball ants courts. And impossibly hard to control. So weaver ants construct bottle. dozens of nests scattered all over their territory. This is I think for plant for zombies, you know, to, to defend the kingdom. No? Tubes or balls made from leaves and ghostly silk sheets. These masterpieces of high ant architecture are created by the weaver majors, the larger worker ants, which are responsible Ooh, for more dangerous jobs like fighting, foraging, yeah. and nest construction. Alpha right here. To start no, a I'm, new I'm, nest, I'm, I'm, I'm a major tries to bend different leaves in her surroundings into a tube. If one of the leaves is flexible Bro, enough, more workers will it's arrive like, mm. to help. Chains of workers pull the leaf's edges together or reach across gaps and grab distant leaves to add them to the construction. While the bending and teamwork. pulling is going on, other workers carry larvae from the closest nest to the construction site. After those food, bro. Usually, ant larvae spin themselves so like a it's a baby. to protect themselves. They might eat. But the weaver ant larvae give all of they might you just to the colony as building material. So when the workers tap the larvae's heads on the leaf, they release their sticky thread like tiny, cute glue guns. Well, like this tiny way, penises. Sew the bent leaf onto itself right. so it won't unfold anymore. This creates a central chamber that's used as the basis for up to 300 more leaves that are wound around it. Together, they, they literally make their nests out of cum. I, I'm just gonna. They form little pockets. This is a great first idea. <laughs> as additional rooms for the new outpost. To make it even more cozy, minor workers use the larvae to weave additional floors and chambers. Ooh. Nests are usually constructed as barracks on the territory's borders or as storage for brood and food supplies. This way, the ants don't need to cross vast distances to the headquarters, but have soldiers close to any potential See, I'm only learning conflict. information that I never knew before. Apart from one special nest in the middle of the network, which is reserved for the queen and her guards. 
Here, she produces hundreds of eggs a day, which get transferred Damn. to suitable nests. Damn! Hundreds of eggs a day. What's this queen doing? She a hoe. With brood chambers. She just. Ah, ah, ah. So She's a, egg, like is a network of little I castles bet. and moats connected by suspension bridges made from leaves, lianas, and twigs. An established colony easily has half a million individuals that need half to be fed. Half a million. That's like Fortunately, weaver ants evolved a quarter to have of two very million. close and beneficial relationships with their hosts, <laughs> shrubs, and trees. The tree gives the ants a home and access to sweet sap to drink. Mm. But maybe even more importantly, sweet, stuff. It why is everything them to ready to come? Cattle like aphids or caterpillars that produce honeydew for them. This would usually hurt a tree, but these insects belong to a small group of VIPs. Oh, this people. Oh, Only a few weird, selected man. neighbors and the ant's cattle are allowed on the fruit tree. Many other insects, and even larger herbivores, are scared off, or even killed and eaten. So My dude just jumped cases, him, bro. The tree only has to tolerate <laughs> like kill, you know. levels of damage. <laughs> yeah, I got the wing from more dangerous pests. The Weaver Ant Kingdom could be an ant paradise if there wasn't competition, mostly Ooh, from other kingdoms. Just like medieval humans, every queen seeks to conquer others and make their land their own. Controlling fertile land is the key to survive in the jungle. What's the other ants called? And if a kingdom oh, loses too much of it, it shrinks and is overrun or starves to death. So expanding and defending their borders is critical to keep the colony alive. Thanks. Get the AKs. When a kingdom invades another, Bra it first gathers an army of a few thousand majors who make their way towards the opposing colony. The goal it's is only to steal to a bit of territory and take it over. <clears throat> defending oh my God. patrols quickly. You guys didn't see that. We spot the invaders and immediately release an alarm pheromone. Some rush to the front to defend, while others rush to the closest outposts for help, marking their route with pheromones. Whenever they meet other sisters, they jerk their bodies as if in a fight to signal them to follow the pheromone trail to the front they jerk, line. They, At the sight they of jerk battle, themselves majors from both to make like some sense their bodies, that circle each other, other with people. mandibles wide open and try to seize their opponents. Ah. If an ant gets a hold of her opponent, the victim is pulled into a group of allied majors and pinned down. Ew. The ants then rip the victim apart, clipping off antennae Ooh. and legs and slicing open their abdomens. To slow down the advance of the attackers, the defending majors squirt formic acid over the battlefield. Bro, everyone's just jizzing, I swear. What the targets. hell? This is soon answered in the same way by the Let me the be an ant real quick. Uh in the chaotic battle, both Those guys are making out. countless fighters on the increasingly acidic battlefield. <laughs> After a few minutes, the backup from the outposts arrive, They're and the window up. for a successful attack slowly closes. This is when the battle turns. Yeah. The defenders Bugger slowly off. push back the attack party. In the end, the attackers can't keep up and have to retreat. For both parties, it was a costly battle. Thousands of corpses lie piled up on the ground under the battlefield. Oh, and I many my boy ants Jimmy. Are severely as as died. The defending colonies' nests and brood are safe, though. The attackers' attempt to steal new valuable territory has failed. For today, they'll try again soon. But the kingdom will be ready. Sick. For the high ants of the floating kingdoms, war is nothing special. Thanks. It's just a fact of life. Because as we know, empires Beef on sight. never ever have enough. And the weaver ants are ready to fight. Yeah, ready to jersey, man. This video is part three in a series that was developed with the... Yo, guys. um, The weaver ants. Or I like to call them the jizz ants. All right, they will... If you try taking over their crap, they will jizz all over you, all right? Unless you're a girl, I don't know if you like that. Well, it depends if it's an ant. Dude, but I, I, I'm gonna shop. Um, but if you guys enjoyed the video, you know, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.